<laughs> In today's episode, we've made the trip to the historic town of Ware. But where is Ware? Well, Ware is in Hertfordshire, and we're here to visit a property known as Wadson Park. So let's get inside. It's that way. Ware are members of the Pigeon Inn Southern League, and today they host Tame United. <laughs> let's hope it's not a tame performance. Thank you. buffs out there, where used to play their football at Berryfield. But in 1995, they moved to their current home, which has a capacity of 3,300. I've had to put the goalkeeping coach's size 12 boots on to be able to come onto the pitch, because you're not allowed trainers on a 3G. Let's start with the structure. It's a metal framework, well put together, may I say, and we've got the perspex that goes through the back and on the sides. As for the bench, well, there's plenty of room, and it's just three wooden slates. It's a very simple design, but also very effective. <laughs> The crest is an adaptation of the Wear coat of arms. The barge rudders, striped with the library colours of the City of London, refer to free entry of the Wear barges to the Port of London. The sheaves of barley refer to malting. You didn't expect me to remember all that, did you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Halsey, the manager of Wear FC. Paul, when does your prep start for today's game? Normally, first thing in, uh, on a Saturday morning, especially this time of year, I'll be cleaning my pond out. And uh, it just gives me time to relax and, and worry about that. And then, then I can go over things in, in my head. What's the plan for today's game? Yeah, we've set up the same formation as normal. Been one or two changes um, for today, because we've got three games in a week. Our normal playing game is to get the ball down and play and try and, and, try and attack on, on, on the front foot. Who are the players for us to look out for? Today would be Albert Adu, Robbie Buchanan, young lad up front is Liam Dawson. He's, he's, he's an exciting prospect. And if there was one Premier League manager that had similar personalities to you, who would you compare yourself to? No, I've got a bit of uh, Wenger and George Graham in me, being an Arsenal fan. Uh, George Graham was all about going to get a 1-0 win, win, and I like that as well. You know, I'm happy to get a 1-0 win. I don't really particularly try to be boring. But I always concentrate on my defence, and I've done today, so a bit, of, a, bit of luck, a bit like that, really. Welcome inside the referee's room. As you can see here, I've got this. It's the brand new Southern League ball for this season, and I would say it's a thing of beauty. Stop it, sir. Just make sure we get them today. Yeah. yeah. Get back up that table and show everyone why we're going to win. Come on, come on, come on. First challenge is all over, yeah? Hello, I'm Wonky. I'm one of the sponsors for Ware Football Club. Why did you choose to sponsor Ware FC? Well, after losing my dad, uh, who was born and bred in Ware, all our family are, I decided to put some money into the football club. Why are you wearing a pig hat on your head? I wear a hat because, first of all, I lost my sister to cancer, and then my mum, and then my dad. But my sister told me before, I died, before she died was to keep being myself, keep going out, making people happy, laugh and smile. What must have been your favourite wear memory? FA Cup run in 2008, 2009. Uh, first round proper, that's the second time in history. And who'd they lose to? Kid Mr. Harry's 2 0. <laughs>
Lewis on the centre back, and I'm captain of Ware. Yep, Lee Rose, central midfielder, obviously vice captain. What did you make of the team's performance today? Obviously, you were injured. Yeah. Um, no, I thought it was, so, it was solid. I, mean, I thought that was a good team, they had some good players. But yeah, we've done the job. Clean sheet as well, it was nice to get. So yeah, no, good. And what was it like on the pitch for you? Yeah, it felt alright to be fair. Once the uh, boys got a couple of goals in the first half, it makes it easier. So going into the second half, we did get another few goals and like I said, clean sheets yeah. and How far can Ware go this season? Hopefully, win the league. That's our aims. We think we're good enough to do that. And I think we've got a good chance of winning it, to be honest. Big question is who's the better brother? Uh, better looking or better? <laughs> it's the better of football. <laughs> better football. Probably Who's better looking? Me. <laughs> <laughs> After the game, I saw you take a player to go see the chairman. There'll be four young boys that'll be going on contract today um, and they're just signing their contracts. So that's good for me because they're committed to the club and it also stops people coming to uh, nick my players. After our first chat earlier on, you mentioned that your brother was an ex-Premier League referee. Can yeah, you listen on that? Yeah, my he was a, a, a referee, he lives in Spain now. But... Yeah, he's been in football all his life, he's a bit like me. He normally tweets about our results, etc. But um, he's now managing a team out, a vets team out in Spain, so he's jumped on the old manager's wagon, he has. Yeah.